In this video, I'll show how to save time by adjusting parameters for multiple clips simultaneously. In this project, I have a beat and a bass line and a little synth arpeggio part. And I'm going to select all of them by drawing a box around them. And you can see the white outline that occurs around all of them. And now I'm going to click on one of them. And you can see the white outline still there, so all of them are all selected right now. So now any of the tempo and time or pitch parameters are going to affect all these clips at once. So I'm going to touch on some of the more useful ones. To begin with, if I name something over here, it'll name all of them at once. Or I can lock them, and they all become locked. Or I can mute them all. I can also switch between Use Project Tempo and Time Stretch, but if I put it in Time Stretch, these all return to their native tempos. So in most circumstances, that's going to make for a rhythmic disaster. So I'm going to keep that in Use Project Tempo. And moving down here to the Time tab, we can adjust offsets, which is kind of the same as moving the whole mess, but if you've got a whole bunch of them, it might be easier to do it this way. I can change the length of the loops. Here I've made it double the length. I can also change the loop start and loop end points. And let's listen to how this affects the clips. With the loop start points at 1, that's at 1. And if I change it to 2, now everything's on the second bar. And of course you can do this with beat subdivisions as well. I can also adjust the number of times the clips loop. So let's put two in there. And you can see these get much longer. Depending on the native length of the loop, this can get a little weird. But this might be useful in some circumstances if you have a lot of loops that are the same native length. Another useful thing we can do with multiple clips is to transpose. So let's say for example, I've got this playing in the regular key. I'll take this up two steps. And this can be useful for assembling songs, because you can copy a group of loops here, and we'll change the transposition. And now when I play it, you can have chunks of loops that are transposing all over the place and essentially make a chord progression that way. Finally, there's a few little tricks we can do down here with the audio tab. We can select mono or stereo, left channel or right channel for all these clips at once. We can change phase on stereo tracks. We can apply noise reduction. And probably the most useful function down here is that we can normalize a bunch of clips simultaneously. So you can see it says normalized up here. These are pretty hot, so you're not really seeing it. But if these were really quiet clips, you'd see the waveform get a lot thicker and louder. Finally, we've got the Formant Preserve. You might find this useful when you're transposing vocals, as it tends to prevent vocals from sounding like chipmunks when you go up, or lurch from the Adams Family when you go down.